Yesterday, I tried to set the scene, if you will, of giving a little background of Paul's letter to Philemon. And so today, we'll start working through this brief little book, which in my Bible only occupies just one page. That's the whole letter. This is a prayer that I carry in my Bible from St. Benedict from Westminster, that's in Westminster Abbey in London. It's a wonderful little prayer. So here are the first verses of Paul's letter to Philemon. Paul, a prisoner of Christ Jesus, and Timothy, our brother, to Philemon, our dear friend and co-worker, to Aphia, our sister, to Archippus, our fellow soldier, and to the church in your house. So here, if you will, we have the characters in the drama that will unfold in the letter to Philemon. Paul is now a prisoner, uh, we're told, because of his faith. And later in verse 13, we'll be told that he's in prison specifically because of the gospel uh, for his work of evangelizing or sharing about the good news of God's love in Christ. And Timothy, and remember we've gone through letters to Timothy, who's there with Paul. And the letter is to Philemon and Aphia, who are a husband and wife team. Uh, and it's interesting uh, that Paul mentions Aphia right there after Philemon. And to Archippus, who is a fellow soldier, Paul says. And Archippus and Onesimus are both mentioned in Paul's letter to the Colossians. And that's why we believe that this is very possibly um, the church that is meeting in Philemon and Aphia's home may be the church of the Colossians to whom that letter is also addressed. And so here you have the different people. Paul writing from a position of hardship, writing to Philemon because he's going to ask him something challenging that you're going to hear about in the coming days. But I want to underscore uh, that A, Paul never did work as a lone ranger. He never did ministry solo. And remember, when Jesus sent out his disciples, he sent them out two by two uh, so that people didn't try to do the work of the kingdom alone. And so we see Paul here as part of a well-networked team. It's Paul, it's Timothy, and Philemon, and Aphia, and Archippus. And together, they do the work of ministry. Uh, and just like here at Brewster Baptist Church, it's not just the pastors or the staff. It's all of you who are a part of our ministry. And some of you are watching these videos at a great distance. Uh, I had a wonderful email uh, from Norman, who's watching these videos up in Halifax, Nova Scotia. And a special hello to you, Norman, and thank you for your kind note of encouragement. But even our folks who watch these videos at a distance, we cover covet your prayers uh, for the ministry of our church here at BBC, and we pray for you and the churches you attend uh, at other places beyond Cape Cod. All of us are called to be fellow workers, fellow soldiers in our own time, helping to share the gospel and to do kingdom work. So God bless you wherever you are as you watch these videos, and may you be God's instrument this day.